All right. Hi, everyone. As many or all of you in the room, I'm an Elixir developer. Before that, I was a Ruby developer, like I would, I would uh, guess many of you, um, like maybe some of you. I was a PHP developer. And um, I know this is Elixir Conf, but I'm going to talk a little bit about PHP. So <laughs> please bear with me. Um, let's see some PHP code. I have an index PHP, some HTML markup, some PHP code. I can start the PHP dev server, open it, open it up in the browser, and then I have my web app. Um, importantly, I can go back to the code, change the code, reload the page, and it's reloaded. So it's a pretty nice out-of-the-box experience. Um, you can say uh, many, many things about PHP, but I think it really nails this particular kind of um, aspect. And um, yeah. I believe we are in Elixir Conf, so let's see some uh, Elixir code. I'm going to change this file to be a Elixir file, and um, I wrote a I wrote a package uh, which is called PHP, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. So If we would run this code, it wouldn't work, but with something like PHP Eval, it would work. Um, we can be very modern. We can use the PHP sigil, even. Um, but um, yeah, so um, there, are two there are many problems with this, but there are two problems with this, which is that, first of all, um, I'm not actually interested in writing PHP anymore. That, um, that ship has sailed for me. The second thing is, I'm not interested in this programming model either. The model being, you go to the page, the program executes sort of instructions from top, top to the bottom, sends the results to the client. You navigate to some other page, it starts from scratch, uh, executes stuff from top to the bottom, so to speak. Of course, over the years, uh, stuff has improved. There are even more dynamic ways to load uh, content in PHP. There is even a live wire which I don't know anything about other than that it exists and that uh, uh, I believe it is based off of the ideas of live view. And speaking of live view, this is something that I am uh, interested in. So let's change this to live view. Um, I'm just going to uh, throw in the snippet. Um, pretty familiar stuff. We have mount, we have render, we have the um, HTML. And now what we can do is call PHP start with this live view. and um, we are just gonna sleep so the server uh, keeps running. And now if we run this Elixir script, it just works. Um, we go back, we change some Elixir code, we save the file, and it just works. It even automatically reloads. So um, again, maybe slightly more complex live view. Um, we have some state, so we start the counter with zero. We, uh, in render, we show the counter, we show a button to increase it, and we um, handle the event, so we just update the state, and under the hood, live view will see what was the state that changed. It will figure out what needs to be re-rendered, return uh, the minimal div back to the client, and the client is smart enough to put it into the right, right place. Um, so. Yeah, the project is not actually called PHP. Uh, it is called Phoenix Playground, a playground to uh, experiment with single file Phoenix, uh, Phoenix apps. Uh, as of today, it is uh, on Hex as of this morning. And um, yeah, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit, like I, I still uh, think about PHP, like how I got started to program. I think it has some good ideas. Um, I think Phoenix has <laughs> a lot of good ideas as well. But um, what I would say is that you cannot, so the, the name of the project is Phoenix Playground, and you cannot spell Phoenix Playground without PHP. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the project is on, on GitHub. Thank you. Um, <laughs> 